I could see he was just nailing it, like every single word. So I got him up to sing that song and he absolutely killed it. If you've got time later on, check out Dom in Melbourne, Wrong Direction with Passenger. It's the fucking coolest video ever. Dom is here tonight as well. So Dom, have you on So, uh, if it's okay, I'm going uh, to tell you a story about this next song. It's a fairly new one. And, uh, I wrote it a few months ago. I've, uh, I've been smoking for a long time, since I was maybe 13 and 14. And, uh, no, not rude. <laughs> There's one smoker left in Australia. Uh, and, uh, I've, yeah, I've been smoking for a long time, and, and recently, Gigging so much and been using my voice so much, uh, I've been trying to give up. You know? Thanks very much. This is like the biggest self help group ever. This is amazing. Uh, you can do it. I love you. Thank you very much. Um, but sadly, sometimes I can't do it. And uh, what happens is I give up for about two months and, and overnight I completely change. I start running in the morning, uh, start eating salad, uh, <laughs> which, is, which is odd, and then uh, start doing yoga and all this kind of stuff. And I took, that wasn't yoga, was it? That was uh, after a fucking mess. I don't know what that was. <laughs> yeah, it's really not helping at all. Um, but yeah, I, I kind of, and for two months I'm really happy and I'm, I'm really healthy and I'm running about and uh, kind of annoying everyone. And then one day, I'll be walking down the street and someone will light up a cigarette and it will look really fucking delicious. And, uh, and then for 48 hours I'll go into this crazy little head battle and of like, do smoke, don't smoke, do smoke, don't smoke. But in the end I'll buy some cigarettes, I'll smoke for a few months, I'll give up, start doing yoga and the whole thing will start again. <laughs> and it's kind of a boring cycle and uh, the last time it happened I was in America and I'd given up for two months. And I was lying in my hotel bed in Minneapolis and uh, get this, I was dreaming about smoking. <laughs> of all the fucking cool things you can dream about, you know. Mike, you can have unicorns if you want, you know. No, no, just smoking, yeah. No. And I woke up and I was like, this is, this is ridiculous, you know. So I put my clothes on and uh, thank God. And, uh, <laughs> very different story uh, if I didn't. Uh, <laughs> That time I got arrested in Minneapolis, yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, I put my clothes on and I went out and, and I walked two kilometers to the nearest gas station at three in the morning. This is the kind of stupid thing you do. And, uh, and I got there and there was no one there. It was the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the night. And there was no one there apart from this one guy, this old American dude with long gray hair, big beard, sitting on a massive motorbike, smoking Lucky Strikes looking really cool. And in my mind, I was like, see, that's, that's what I look like when I smoke. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why I did that. And uh, again, uh. of course, I don't look like that when I smoke. I look, look a lot like this. And um, a bit paler. Um, but I walked past him, um, kind of in awe of him. And he, he said the strangest thing, he said, this is the best cigarette I've ever had in my life. I was like, this is, this is really weird. I was just dreaming about smoking. I'm obsessed with it. There's no one else here. I walked past you and you said that. This is bizarre. So I, I went over and I talked to him. And this is when the story stops being funny because it turns out he had lung cancer and he had no idea how long he had left to live. Um, so he decided to buy this motorbike and travel from Los Angeles to New York and then spend the rest of his life with his family, with his grandkids and his, his children in New York. And um, it was a bit strange talking to a complete stranger um, about something so meaningful and so real, you know. And I got up and I didn't buy cigarettes that night. I, uh, I walked back to the hotel and over the next couple of days I wrote this song is called Riding to New York, and it's for him wherever he is riding now. I hope you are.
ご覧の夢に見せそうちゃう。You start to know the cost. The long gray hair, eyes to stay. Who knew that car was closed? I asked where I go to. He said, I'm the way I'm just going to. Little cigarettes and candy corn. The doctors told me my body won't hold me. I lost a turn back. Even lucky strikes fall since I was at school. And I ain't no turning back. They can't tell me how or why. Maybe months, maybe not. So I'm taking this ride now. Right into the old. I want to see my granddaughter one last time. When I hold her close, I feel her time. Heartbeat next to mine. Want to see my son and man, please be kind. And tell him I'm sorry for the things I've done. I'd do it if I had to call. Taking this bike and I'm riding to New York. Through the forest, all the Wisconsin, and I knew I was a boy. Across the skyline of Chicago, and the lakes all feel annoying. Trucks roll past my door. Through the fields of Ohio, as the sunshine paints them gold, I run like the river runs, rapid, quick, and cold. And fly through Pennsylvania, and the Jersey Turnpike tolls. And I won't stop to. I get to New York. Cause I wanna see my grandson one last time. I wanna see his eyes sparkle and stay back in tonight. And my time is short, I wanna see my daughter and tell her I'm sorry for the things I told her. Do it if I had to walk. Thank、you